Hey, what's up, YouTube? This EXO coming at you here inside the build. Just gonna be scratching off some stuff on the to-do list today. I got a show coming up here in a couple weeks, and I want to make sure I get everything prepared for the show. So that's why today we're gonna be testing the resonant frequency of this cabin with a sealed box. Since we don't have a single 12 or anything like that, we're gonna have to cut down our box that we had from my sister's car. If you guys remember this, we had two VCW 12s in her Nissan. She doesn't even have that vehicle anymore, and she can't fit this in her new one. So we're just going to cut her right down. It should bring the specs right down to about a single cube, and then we'll wire it up. Obviously not with 3,500 watts, but then we'll be able to tell what this cabin prefers and prepares for the show this weekend. I'm just going to, you know, jigsaw it, and then if I got to use PL to fill the gaps, that's what I'm going to do. Almost there. It's not going to be perfect, but that's what PL's for. Now we got two boxes. Just like that, you tubinous. <laughs> so I'm just going to take this uh, old dry up thing, a uh, PL, the thing was all seized up at the top, so I just like poked a hole in it right here and you know who gives a crap I don't have gloves on right now I don't have any of those like medical gloves so screw it I'm just gonna squeeze it real tight so it spews out and I am going to beat up this whole thing just with lots of PO because obviously it wasn't a freaking perfect cut we weren't trying to make it perfect but this will just make it so it's nice and sealed up like no tomorrow Let's take the piece of wood and just plop around on top. Give her a little wiggle. The PL made up for all that loose space for me, which is real good. Oh damn, I got PL on my chest. She's all nice and sealed up on the inside. You can see she's drying nice. So what I'm gonna do is just let this sit here until tomorrow and then we'll be able to do the testing then because this stuff takes quite a while, especially how thick it is right there to dry. All right, everything's dried here. It's the next morning. As you can see on the inside, everything's all nice and sealed up. The next step here is busting out this old JL I have in this ported box and we're gonna go ahead and see if it fits in the cutout for that box. Just a nice little sub here. We don't need anything crazy. Go ahead and see if it fits real quick. Yeah, that won't be so bad. It fits in nice and snug once you give it a little push. There we go, just like that. Now I'm just gonna drill a little hole for the speaker wire to go through. Okay, we got our wires coming out here. So let's just go ahead and plug her in. All right, so we got the cabin all cleaned up and we got our meter ready to go. The SSA APM1's boxed up and ready to be powered on. And I actually just trimmed off a little bit of this uh, uh, jumper cables. Pretty good wire here, so I'm gonna use it for my amplifier. I'm gonna plug it up under my hood. I'm just gonna have the amp resting right here, plugged right up into our battery, which is connected to all eight HPL 120s from Crescendo Audio. That way there's not this huge freaking two inch freaking gap in the door, you know what I'm saying? This stuff's pretty thick, so I want the door to be nice and tight so we can get the most accurate numbers possible. You kind of get the picture now. I don't have to run a remote wire. I'm just going to do a little uh, alligator jump from the positive. So everything's ready to go. Freaking RCA's power negative and speaker wire running right in through the door and everything's all hooked up positive and negative and all I got to do now is see if the blue light comes on when we do a little jumper here. Let's see. Nice. Yeah, it's working. Good thing we uh, have the speaker wire extra long run it inside the cabin, seal up the doors, and run a base sweep. Cram it right in between both the seats. Now we just gotta get our APM1 base meter here, flip on the switch, stick it on the dash, and then pair it with our cell phone. Go to the application and click connect. There we go, we're ready to do this. So I'm gonna go to my head unit here, and I'm already on sweeps, and I'm gonna pick the biggest one I have, which is 10, to 80 hertz right there, negative 5 dB. That's what I tuned my system with. So that's all we need right there. I'm gonna click it, make sure that my base knob down here is turned all the way up because the output is going right to underneath the hood where the amplifier is. So let's restart the track. So I'm gonna exit the vehicle and leave it right at the same volume and then see what we're peeking at. So I got uh, 41 hertz according to this 
that's where uh, the resonant frequency of this vehicle is. Now I'm gonna change the volume and then uh, try it again. I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit more. That one actually peaked at 42. I'm gonna uh, turn the volume even up even more this time. Restart the track. I'll, I'll do it at volume 50 here. We got the same as last time, which is 42 hertz, and just for good measure, I'm gonna do it one more time, even at higher volume. So once it gets above like the 20s and stuff, I'll give it all the extra volume, because I know this fucking low bass isn't gonna be peaking. All right, guys, so looks like we got pretty much the number here. It's looking like 41 and 42 hertz uh, is, is what the, this cabin really likes. So if I can kinda try to bring my tuning anywhere around to this mark right here, which is definitely why I gain when I take my ports out because it almost matches this right here perfectly. Uh, so that, that definitely makes sense. So what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Let's go ahead and take the seats out and see what's going on there. Let's go ahead and go right back to our 10 to 80 sweep here, which I think was track one. We haven't registered on the meter yet because it's so low. All right, we registered at 25. Now we registered back up again at... All right, that was definitely definitive right there. So without the seats, it's 43. So it raised it exactly one frequency. But what does this translate for helping us out? Why the hell do I even wanna know this? Let me disconnect my Bluetooth and we'll tell you a little bit about what's going on. Well, this space right here, picture it as its own subwoofer box. Every space has a tuning, has a re resonant frequency. It, it's at the point at which a resonance or a noise will become loudest in this. So like this particular space has a tuning. Kind of like if you blow across a bottle, every bottle has a different tuning. Well, when you roll your windows down, it changes the tune of the bottle. Well, change the tune of this right here. So knowing all this small little information about your system can really help when you start doing stuff with your ports and all that. So you want to try to, you know, meet the middle ground of this number and your port number. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of chasing numbers having fun. I'm not really all about SPL, but it is kind of cool to know uh, the scientific stuff about your system. When you're pulling into the lanes, it's very important. And just for shits and giggles, guys, I'm going to open my door and then try it again uh, with this sealed box. Because I know that with my enclosure, with my door open, I think I'm peeking at like 43. So let's see with a sealed box what we're peeking at. Let me go ahead and reset our handy dandy... Um, APM one here. I freaking love this thing. I just have a cheap battery and it's doing real good so far. So let's crank her up. See what's going on. The other day when I was freaking bass racing a song that was, I think, Welcome Back at 39 hertz, I could have done a little bit better. So I'm going to try to choose a uh, song next time that's a little closer to this. But like I said, remember, with this enclosure with the door open, I'm peaking at 43. But with this enclosure with the door open, I'm peaking at 47. So that's just like the uh, the RF with the door open. So you know, everything plays a variable, you guys. Everything plays a factor into, into performance. So how about just one little more uh, blasting? For you tubulus here, do a little bit of flexing on this JL, huh? Woohoo! Yeah! Sweet. So, I'm really glad that we uh, did this. We freaking took down the uh, double box and made it a single. And uh, made this little JL really help us today. So, I'm definitely happy with that. And make sure you guys stay tuned for the videos to come. Uh, f so, for right now, I'm just going to do a little bit more uh, sealing up in the back there. I have a couple holes which I drill, which I need to put some silicone in. And the good old NVX JAD 1200s, man. I freaking love these little stout JADs. Freaking beautiful. So, that's all for today, YouTubulus. So, until the next video, this is EXO signing out. <laughs>